We did a survey about two years ago when they just launched anti-corruption campaign. Everyone thought it's going to be short-lived, but it's not. Um, it's been two years now, and it's still deepening and reaching all sectors in the economy. Originally, we thought it's going to be just a purge um, in the military, in the government. Now, it seems like it affects pretty much you know, corporates in all sectors and entrench the groups as well. We look at that uh, Swiss watch because um, those stocks have been driven uh, primarily by its growth in China. Um, you know, the owner of Omega, the owner of uh, Rolex. However, after the survey, we realized that 60% and above of the purchases was driven by gifting. So not only to, you know, purchase by men to their uh, mistresses, and also can be purchased by business people for their, you know, related to for their uh, contacts, business contacts and the business part partners and government officials. Um, to a degree that um, Macau Casino has an element of that as well, especially in, um, in the VIP rooms. So what's good about this uh, anti-corruption is um, I think the current leadership, by doing so, they are really kind of restoring some confidence domestically, made people realize that inappropriate uh, behaviors in the government, um, abused by government officials, and uh, you know, uh, in the business world is no longer acceptable. So part of the gifting economy is moving underground and part of it is just starved away. So, um, and going forward, I think we will see more contraction um, in luxury sales, not only just the bags and the Swiss watches, but also um, we'll continue to see that in Macau VIP rooms, luxury autos, um, luxury bank, uh, banquets, luxury outings. So that would, to a degree, affect you know, five-star five hotels in China, um, expensive restaurants in China as well. So that's, you know, if, if you go to any sort of uh, conferences right now, I mean, that's a, a really heated topic, everyone trying to gauge um, the magnitude of this campaign and the, the, how long it's going to last. I just got back from Beijing from a trip um, so I took a group of investors in the U.S. to meet with the policy makers and policy advisors um, to the leadership in Beijing. And the takeaway is it's not as superficial as people think. It's going to be there for a while. And it seems like, you know, the current leaders are very committed to purge um, corruptions and corrupt, corrupted behaviors.